Cystic fibrosis, CF, is a complex genetic disorder that affects the respiratory and gastrointestinal systems. This video will provide a comprehensive overview of CF, including its genetics, CFTR protein, manifestations, complications, testing methods, management strategies, and potential treatments. It aims to equip medical students with the knowledge needed to diagnose and care for CF patients. Cystic fibrosis, CF, is a genetic disorder caused by mutations in the CFTR gene. Inheriting two mutated copies leads to CF, while carrying one mutated copy makes individuals carriers. Various genetic testing methods can diagnose CF, such as genetic sequencing and sweat chloride testing. The CFTR protein is essential for chloride ion transport in cells lining the respiratory and digestive tracts. Mutations in the CFTR gene cause thickened mucus in affected organs, impairing chloride ion transport and leading to cystic fibrosis symptoms. Cystic fibrosis, CF, affects the airways, causing airway obstruction due to thick and sticky mucus, leading to chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, bronchiectasis, and recurrent respiratory infections. CF patients are prone to bacterial pneumonia, bronchitis, and sinusitis due to impaired mucociliary clearance. Cystic fibrosis, CF, affects the gastrointestinal system, particularly the pancreas and intestines. Pancreatic insufficiency is common, resulting in decreased production of enzymes needed for digestion, causing malabsorption and poor growth. Meconium ileus, a newborn complication, results in intestinal obstruction due to thick meconium accumulation in the ileum. Sweat chloride testing is a non-invasive and reliable method to confirm cystic fibrosis, CF. It measures the concentration of chloride ions in sweat, which is usually high in individuals with CF. A chloride level greater than 60 millimoles L indicates CF and is often done along with genetic testing. CF patients are prone to pulmonary exacerbations, which are episodes of acute worsening of respiratory symptoms and lung function. Exacerbations can be triggered by factors such as respiratory infections, environmental pollutants, or poor adherence to treatment. The clinical presentation of an exacerbation may include increased cough, sputum production, shortness of breath, decreased exercise tolerance, and systemic signs of infection like fever. Management of acute exacerbations typically involves aggressive airway clearance techniques, empirical antibiotic therapy targeting common pathogens, and supportive care to alleviate symptoms and promote recovery. Proper nutrition is vital for managing cystic fibrosis, CF. CF patients need a high-calorie diet to counter the increased energy expenditure from lung disease. Pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy, PERT, helps with digestion and absorbing nutrients. Fat-soluble vitamin supplementation is also necessary due to poor absorption. CF is a multisystem disorder, and non-respiratory manifestations are commonly observed. Liver disease, such as hepatobiliary cirrhosis or focal biliary fibrosis, can occur due to the accumulation of thick, sticky bile in the bile ducts. CF-related diabetes mellitus, CFRD, is a common endocrine complication seen in CF patients. It is distinct from type 1 and type 2 diabetes and is mediated by insulin resistance and impaired insulin secretion. Infertility is also a significant concern in CF, primarily affecting male patients, who have congenital absence of the vas deferens, CAVD, and may be azoospermic. Newborn screening for cystic fibrosis, CF, is crucial for early detection and intervention. Screening programs involve a blood test that analyzes immunoreactive trypsinogen, IRT, levels. Elevated IRT levels may indicate CF, leading to further testing and timely intervention for improved outcomes. Airway clearance techniques are essential in managing the thick, sticky mucus present in CF. Chest physiotherapy is commonly used, incorporating techniques such as percussion, vibration, and postural drainage to facilitate mucus clearance from different areas of the lungs. Exercise can also help mobilize mucus and improve lung function. Additionally, several devices and strategies, such as positive expiratory pressure PEP, devices, oscillating positive expiratory pressure OPEP, devices, and high-frequency chest wall oscillation devices, are available to assist in mucus clearance. These techniques aim to improve airway hygiene, reduce mucus plugging, and enhance lung function. Pharmacotherapy plays a crucial role in managing CF lung disease and its associated symptoms. Bronchodilators, such as beta agonists and anticholinergics, are commonly prescribed to relieve bronchospasm and improve airflow. Mucolytic agents, such as Dornase alpha, recombinant human DNAs, are used to reduce the viscosity of the mucus, making it easier to clear from the airways. CFTR modulators, such as Ivacaftor, Lumacaftor-Ivacaftor, and triple combination therapy, for example, 
Alexacafter slash Tezacafter slash Ibacafter, are emerging therapies targeting specific mutations in the CFTR protein. These medications aim to restore CFTR function and improve lung function in eligible patients. For CF patients with end-stage lung disease, lung transplantation may be considered as a therapeutic option. Indications for lung transplantation include severe decline in lung function, recurrent exacerbations, and poor quality of life despite optimal medical management. Multiple factors, including age, overall health, and availability of suitable organs, determine eligibility for transplantation. The surgical procedure involves removing the diseased lungs and replacing them with healthy donor lungs. Post-transplant care is essential and involves close monitoring, immunosuppressive therapy, lung function assessments, and management of complications such as rejection and infection. Cystic fibrosis, CF, is a complex genetic disorder that affects multiple organ systems, primarily the respiratory and gastrointestinal systems. Medical students must understand CF's genetics, clinical presentations, and management for optimum patient care and research contributions.